We all know that cats don't like water. Come on, buddy, you can do it. But in the wild nature, when they're hungry, the big cats can get wet. In Africa, when you get closer to the water, you need to be careful about one thing, crocodiles. Oh, oh. Let's start. Crocodiles wait until their prey comes closer than 6 feet or 2 meters before attacking. When their prey comes closer than 6 feet or 2 meters, they try to catch it with 39 feet per second, 12 meters per second speed. They squeeze their prey with their strong jaw and pull it under the water to choke. You're going to be surprised, but crocodiles can perform 200 kilos of pressure to their prey. They bite it and turn it around themselves a few times to do a death roll. Look at these two poor impalas. They just want to drink some water and cool off a little bit. Wait, do you see any danger? Maybe that little bird? No, this is impossible. Now you see what's the real danger. This poor impala didn't see the danger just like you, because crocodiles come so slow and quiet and sneaky. We see a wildebeest herd drinking water peacefully, but they're making a mistake. Now you'll see. As you see, if you're an animal in an area where crocodiles live, you shouldn't be so comfortable. As much as crocodiles, the big cats can be dangerous too. This hungry jaguar is diving into the water fearlessly for food. We said that the cats don't like the water, but if they're hungry, you can be sure they'll not care about getting wet. Did you see how he jumped into the water? He must be hungry. Don't get excited, bud. You have your food now. We see another hungry jaguar here. He looks cute. If you see him or her at the zoo, you may want to pet him, but don't be deceived to his or her cuteness. As you see, the big cats are so good at swimming, they can swim like a jaw, quiet and sneaky. He's catching the crocodile and bites it till death. That's a meal that he's taking away to have at his convenience. We witnessed that the big cats hunted crocodiles many times. This crocodile may be thinking about catching one of those lionesses, but the lion comes out and maybe he roars like, Get away from my girls! <laughs> Poor crocodile, unfortunately there's no food for you. If you're alone in the wild nature, there's no matter how strong you are. Look at this big boy. He could be strong but he's surrounded by those cats and probably he's going to be their dinner today. Oh no, do you want to get bitten by a crocodile? We're sure you don't, and this cat doesn't too. You should look behind you, buddy. Oh my god. She may not be lucky next time. Run for your life, buddy. If you're a cat lover and you're thinking like, what do you want from this cat? Go eat some fish. You're right. But you should know that a grown-up crocodile usually eats at least one kilo of flesh a day. They can eat up to 25 kilos, and they can spend months and even one year without any food at all. Do you know this girl? Queen of Tigers. She's so cool, right? Her name is Makali. Let's talk about her. She's the oldest tigress that lives in the wild nature. She had a white stain that looks like a fish at her chin. Everyone knew her with this white stain. And the wild nature photographer Colin Patrick Stafford gave her the name Macaulay, which means fish in Hindi. She was known for her ferocity in protecting her cubs from threats, such as male tigers and other animals. She was also known for her hunting skills and strength. In particular, in an incident in 2003 when she fought with and killed an 11-foot-long mugger crocodile. As a result of the fight, she lost two canine teeth. Thanks to her, Rathambore National Park earned around $10 million every year. Macaulay may have lost her eye in a yet-to-be-confirmed fight with another tiger. An officer said Macaulay might have fought with T-72. Her eyes are red and swollen, and there are minor injuries on her legs. We suspect that she lost one of her eyes while fighting. She was getting weaker and weaker with each passing day. 
she has abandoned her territory and shifted herself to Ambagadi, that is known as a safe refuge for old tigers and tigresses. And she died at August 18, 2016. Uh, no, I'm not crying. It's just... Onion. I know it's a sad story. Just wish her a good life at the other side. We see a tiger in this old video. Can you imagine that you fight with him? I don't think so. But this crocodile is thinking about killing and eating it. He doesn't even know anything about what's going to be happening soon. Crocodile is catching him and doing a death roll a few times to rip off the flesh and kill the tiger. There's no meaning to struggle for this tiger anymore. As you see, they don't fight all the time. Just like everyone, this tiger wants some peace. He doesn't want to fight, so he's waiting for Crocodile to end up his meal. If he fights, it could be risky for him. He can die for it, or he can wait a while. After him, he's going to steal that food, and he's going to eat the rest. The tiger that you can see waited around 9 hours at the land for that Crocodile to leave. And finally, the time came. He's swimming to the prey. He waited 9 hours for this moment. It's meal time for him. We hope he enjoyed his meal.